Let's look at using gradient overlays for enhancing photographs with Affinity Photo. Digital Post Processing offers the photographer a selection of tools to help with creating a pictorial record. This can be done really well by employing the Gradient Fill tool. It can be really effective with black and white images. So we'll start with a black and white portrait taken from Pixabay, a free image source. Tones, colours or tints can be altered to serve the intended mood of a photograph. The easiest scale to use is the grey scale, but this technique also works well for colour scales. Sometimes a colour photograph, landscape or cityscapes, only needs a hint of grey scale. But I find I employ gradients to black and white images which work really effectively. This is my original image from Pixabay. The image already has some nice tones but I want to enhance it by introducing a deep moody feel to it. The overuse of gradients can muddy a picture instead of providing a subtle mood change and artistic expression. So be careful you don't overuse the gradient tool. Just put in the effect you want and leave it go at that. Open Affinity Photo and create a portrait image as I've done here, four and a half inches by six inches and add a pixel layer to the canvas. So now find your gradient tool, left hand side, and make the image you see here. Select linear as the type, that's in the bottom context toolbar. Then drag the gradient into the canvas from one corner to the other. And you'll see that slight grey scale that I've got there already. On the bottom edge you'll see the gradient tool context toolbar. It appears automatically when selecting the, con the gradient tool. You can click these and alter the shading by moving the points which move the shading. That line you've drawn across the screen has a centre point and two very small points that are quite difficult to see in some cases further along the line. By moving those you can change the intensity and location of the gradient. But you probably know that. So play around with these settings so you're familiar with what the grading tool does. But as I say, before starting this on photographs, you probably will be familiar with it. It's another way to create the same mood effect as a vignette, while remaining creative to a mood within the frame. This can be done, as I say here, by employing the gradient fill tool. So we're not using vignette, quite a different thing. We're using gradient fill. The original image again, while this is a dramatic image in itself, I wanted to introduce some different lighting. Now let's add an image using file and place, then select the file and draw it into the frame. You can see Affinity has placed the new image on top of the gradient. In the previous frame you'll have seen that I just had the gradient layer. Now I've got an image layer sitting on top of the gradient. We want the gradient on top of the image. So drag the layer containing the gradient so it sits above the image. The image will disappear behind the gradient and you think, what's the point of that? Well, now change the layer blend mode and change it from normal to overlay. That's in the layer options. That's the three dots that appear above the control bar when you selected layers. The image reappears with the gray scale blend sitting there. Now you can modify the gradient overlay to achieve your desired result. The operation is non-destructive as far as your photo is concerned. Your image itself is not changed. Now let's have a look at the image that I've worked on a little bit. Gradients work well in black and white, but you can also use colour instead. The key here is to experiment with the gradient tools to find something new and appealing. 
You can even make your own vignette with multiple gradients stacked. However, I find the simplest solution is oftentimes the best. And there you have it, an image with subtle mood tones placed to work with the image and the viewer for a pleasing outcome. The light and from the, uh, the focus of the light there is on the right hand side of the subject with some highlights in the hair and the right hand side of the face and the right facing parts of the clothing. If you compare it to the original, quite a dramatic shift with a simple gradient overlay. Thank you for watching. Let your imagination roam free and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.